All right, I'm going to show you my setup with the Sun System 150 watt HPS light self contained unit. Um, as you can see here, we've got a bunch of things going on, but there's also some crazy lines going across the screen, and that's caused by, I guess, the frequency of the HPS light uh, as opposed to the frequency of the camera. So I'm actually going to shut it off and shut on the regular uh, room light, and we'll take a look so at that. So here we go with the actual sun system light off and just the room light on. You can see things a little bit better. Here's my ghetto setup. These are actually two um, parts of a futon couch I disassembled, found it in the trash, and then just kind of attached them with tie wraps to the bottom of this, this desk, and then using uh, actual light hooks here. I just hooked the light up like that. Not the most elegant system, but it seems to work. Uh, so here, you can see we've got a bunch of different kind of lettuce. There's some red leaf stuff the guy at the hydroponic store gave me. and This is just a uh, regular leaf lettuce that we bought at Canadian Tire. Looks really pale compared to these guys. I'm not sure if it's supposed to. Uh, there's a bunch of other random stuff here, non-hydroponic stuff here. So, that I believe is a radish. I found a box of seeds, old seeds, and just made them sprout. Uh, so I'm not 100% sure about everything yet. Here's some basil. Here's more of this same red leaf lettuce, but it's uh, probably about 10 days behind these guys here. And it's not in this deep water culture system. So... This here is a deep water culture system. I've got an air pump running through these tubes to two air stones that are oxygen oxygenating this water. In this case, I guess it's what you call the Kratsky method. The water's still, there's a wick going up um, from the nutrient water to the, the clayton or the hydrogen here. And, uh, and then I guess the idea is as the water drops, the roots expose themselves to the air so they don't need to be oxygenated. I don't know, it's my first time trying it. So far, so good. They look pretty healthy. And we got some peas back here that I started. And my girlfriend put them right near the blinds because she thinks it might be cool if they climb up the blinds. We'll see what happens if we wreck these blinds. I guess we'll just have to replace them. Um, so actually, this room right now is being lit up by this. Let's let the light kind of adjust. And this is what I was using originally. This is a, it's an old photography um, hood. And I ordered this from eBay. It's a four-way bulb splitter. And then used four 26-watt CFLs. And that puts out a decent amount of light. But I have to say, for about $110 here in Canada, this HPS system uh, has worked pretty good. The guys at the store told me, you know, if I'm just growing this kind of leafy stuff, I really don't need that. But the plan is I'd like to get a small tomato or cucumber plant in here eventually. And if you do want to pre uh, produce any kind of fruits or vegetables, then you do need a more powerful system. I mean, this thing is super bright. One thing to worry about is it does get a little bit hot. Like, not super hot, but if this thing were to fall and just land on this and sit there while I was gone, I mean, I'm sure it could create a fire. Whereas maybe fluorescence could fall into that and um, and not. So, I mean, that's something to think about. But overall, not super hot. Most of the heat comes from the top here. And um, unless you had it in a grow tent or whatever, uh, in this case, I don't. It's just in a full room, so it doesn't really increase the temperature any. Uh, okay. Well, that'll do.